Hello, and welcome back. A couple of things you might notice have changed since the episode right away. One is, well, my armor looks a little funny. And two is, well, we're still in the Dwarven Kingdom. Yup. I've been kind of having some trouble, actually, like, with the transition of going back to the Empire. So I think we'll uh, we'll stick here for at least a little bit, and we'll wrap up some stuff. And as far as my armor goes, well, I am now in 1.19, which means I can go do some like mud stuff. I can do some frog lights, which I'm super excited about. And as a result of that, I decided to uh, grab a resource pack that actually makes the the enchantment glint on my armor a little less mm, overpowering maybe we will say so you can actually tell that my my armor is actually netherite instead of it just being purple you know from the enchantment glint yep and the reason why i'm here is actually because of our to-do board here we uh we built the blast chamber we built the overworld tree we built the overworld tree. The overworld tree farm. We built the crimson stem farm. Mm, we built the bone meal farm. And we built the micro bone meal farms. Which leaves an amethyst farm. I still kind of want a potion alley. And again, reminder, this won't be like the full potion setup like we have over in the empire. This will just be like a few of the ones that, that I think I, I will want and need. So Night Vision and Speed, two, two of the ones that I kind of want more of. And then I've been thinking a lot about a copper farm. Um, I don't think I will build it here in the Dwarven Kingdom, so I'm going to remove that. Over here in the nether, we started working on our nether tunnels. They are not done yet. I did do a little bit more work on that, so I'll, uh, I'll show you guys that in a second. And then Wither's Skeleton Farm. We have built that. So we, we still, I still want to build a ghast farm. And then we need to continue with the, the tunnels. Alright, so what are some other farms or builds that I want to do around here? Well, we talked about a furnace array, so I'm going to do call this just a shulker farm furnace array and that's going to be lava based so the idea being hmm let's actually drop this down the line lava how about that um and let's make it so you guys can see it boom boom all right so the idea behind that is i will drop a a shulker full of Lava in as fuel, and I will drop a shulker full of items I want to smelt. Um, stone into smooth stone is probably the biggest example that I can think of. Um, a second array is probably going to be a... Maybe I'll call it a speed furnace array. And that'll be powered by probably coal or bamboo. And this will be to smelt items pretty much as fast as I can, whereas the just the regular shulker furnace array uh, might be more for you know larger jobs that don't need to be done right away. But I just need to I want to drop them in there and kind of forget about it. Where the speed one is like I have a lot of items and I you know it's the only thing that I have left for a build, so I'm going to try to get that run through as fast as possible. This is also kind of a hmm. Maybe I'll call it a luxury, or maybe it's, it's going to be a, a fun for fun project that I want to do. I want to see how big of a furnace array I can build myself without going off of like a a tutorial or anything like that. I think that'll be a fun. And then I think I want to do a third array, but I want this to be an XP furnace array. And that'll be, I think I'll use cactus. I'll smelt a whole bunch of cactus. And I will use bamboo as the fuel. Mm, can I do and bamboo? There we go. 
So the cactus is what we will smelt and we'll set it up so that when it when we get to a certain point, the last cactus will or the last green dye from the cactus being smelted will stay in the furnace. And then we'll be able to go in there and pull it out and we'll get a whole bunch of XP. The idea being that, you know, if my, my pickaxe is all the way down, I'll be able to go up there, pull a, a die out, and then have my pickaxe be fully repaired. And the best way to, to fuel that will be probably using bamboo, because there will be constantly items being smelted. And um, yeah, I think bamboo is just going to be the best way to, to keep that, that fueled. Other projects I want to do in here, um, I would like to have a vault of some sort, just as kind of a, a lore type area, and I, I suppose a um, maybe a throne room, because this is a kingdom after all, right? So we need to have a nice throne room. Uh, I want to have just a regular moss farm, I think. Oops. Um, we do have a bone meal farm that, that uses moss, but we don't have just a straight moss farm. So I think we'll we'll do one of those. What else? Um, I think I might also do a cobble or basalt generator. And I will end up hooking that up to the blast chamber. Chamber. Yeah. That way, you know, if I need, I don't know, a shulker full of furnaces, I'll be able to get all of my cobble just from running the generator for a while. So that'll be nice. Um, hmm. Suppose something else I need to think about now that we are in 1.19 is 1.19 items such as mud. Uh, uh, renewable, uh, terracotta. Mud farms, terracotta farms. Um, then I'm also thinking about frog lights. Hmm. I don't know what, how much of this I'm going to do in the Dwarven Kingdom. So I'm actually not going to to die that, but we will, we'll, we'll think about that between episodes and figure out what to do with that. Part of me really wants to do the terracotta farm in the kingdom or sorry, in the, in the, in the desert empire, because, well, we already have all of the masons over there. There's badlands pretty close. So it just feels like the terracotta should be done in the empire instead of here in the dwarven kingdom. But I also fully expect that to be kind of a loud, um, piston-based, a lot of, you know, redstone-y to, to get that to work. Not entirely sure about the about that. So we'll, we'll keep that in mind. So yeah, those are kind of some of the things that I want to get done here in the Dwarven Kingdom. Obviously, we've already spent a lot of time here in the Dwarven Kingdom. And I don't really think we need to spend more time here before we head back to the Empire. Mostly because we have a lot of the a lot of the items already ready to go that we came over here for the, in the first place for. Primarily like the, the Crimson Logs and then just like a uh, log farm in general. And then uh, also the Lava Farm will come in handy too. So yeah, I think... I think we'll head back over towards the Empire, and uh, on the way I'll show you some progress that I made on the Nether Tunnels. Okay, Nether Tunnel update time, I think. Uh, this back here is uh, goes back to the Dwarven Kingdom. Clearly, I have not done uh, the individual tunnel back to the Dwarven Kingdom. This will be that will be a completely different style than what we've got, you know, going on here with the, the blue walls and the tall ceilings and all of the nether brick. And uh well I've um pushed it down that way a ways. So if I fly down here, I can get like a full ouch full uh 
flight down with the with the rocket. And uh, yeah, I haven't even made it down to the weather skeleton farm yet. That's way way down there. Probably doubled the length of this. Yep. And this what I what I've done. Basically, just repeating the pattern. I don't want to think about how long that took, because I have to repeat it like five more times, I think. Yep. So, I think we'll head on back down this way and uh, head over to the Empire. And I think we'll um, find a nice area to make a to-do list over there. I think that's how I will uh, start to transition back over to the the uh the d desert king desert empire empire we were at the dwarven kingdom and now we're heading to the desert empire all right and here we go i'll meet you guys over there and here we are back at the empire so i already got some signs ready so i think what we'll do is we'll head over here we have, we have a kind of a flat area here, so we can put up some fences and do our to-do list over here. So I think we'll do to-do here. And then, let's see here. Let's do, we need to finish off the inner, well, we need to finish off the walls, right? We have one more gate, well, uh, hmm. It's called a uh, defense tower. Hmm. We need a better name than defense tower for like, you know, that's the gate tower. Our iron farm over there is is another tower that's on the wall and it's designed for for defense. Our blacksmith tower is also on the wall and it's you know semi intended for defense. Whoops. Our storage area here is technically on the wall. So we need one more tower over there that's on the wall. So, yeah. It's our last defense tower. I do want a kitchens slash great hall uh, within the walls somewhere. Um, and I, I guess my plan as of right now is I want to put that right there and i might put the kitchens as the inside of the that tower and then have the great hall come out hmm somewhere along that wall um part of me wonders if i should have made these walls a lot taller than i did but they're in now and i don't really think i should uh don't really want to go and mess with them so we'll we'll leave them be all right, so we have defense towers, kitchens, great hall, uh, roads. We have a lot of roads just inside of the walls here and outside of the outside of the walls there that are kind of w winding around that we should probably deal something, do something with. That could be pretty fun. Um, slime farm. Slime farm. Let's just do decoration. There we go. You know, that, that involves doing something with the walls that go from just below where we're going to put some sort of cap on all the way down to the top of the, the slime farm. And then we'll also cover it up with, with glass. And we'll probably do some sort of design in the glass. Maybe a slime face. We'll see. All right. Uh, we need to do Emperor's Tower at some point. That will probably be an episode by itself because... Uh, I can see that being quite tall, and I will have to figure out a lot for how I want to design it and how I want that to look. I haven't quite figured everything else, everything out there. Uh, I think I do want a lava tower of, of some sort. I think that'll probably be outside of the walls, and this will be uh, probably a little bit of a... This will be a small lava farm won't have you know the full furnace or the cauldron array that we have over in the dwarven kingdom but we'll we'll be able to have a little bit of 
infinite lava source here as well. Um, I had an idea for a like a crane around the masons area crane. So over here in at the masons tower, there's this this kind of hole, which is one of the main reasons why I built it over here. I had the idea idea of maybe building a crane right in this area, and then it would be, you know. Would ha its arm would be reaching out over the middle of this hole here and we could have a like a little basket or something that, that goes down with the idea that you know there's miners down in the the quarry over here and they're pulling resources up and out and that's where we're getting the granite the andesite the diorite and then all of the terracotta as well then again you know we also have the Badlands over there, so that's also probably where a lot of the terracotta could be coming from. So that's what I was thinking about for the Mason area crane. I would like to do a cactus farm of some sort. It'll probably be over there with the rest of the farming area. And speaking of the farming area, I would like to do some terraforming um, around towers. Oh, you know, we, I haven't put probably the big one in here, port. The big port area that is going to be on the other side of that wall, where uh, that little strip of blue is right there. Uh, I feel like that will be kind of a, a cool area. I would like for this river to almost feel like a the main highway for trade that other nations come in and trade with the empire. I think that could be pretty cool. And so I guess the last thing that I have in mind for this area would be potentially a clay, uh, clay to terracotta farm. Um, I kind of put that down on our, on our board over in the Dwarven Kingdom. Um, I think it'll make more sense here, uh, just from the aspect of, you know, we have our Mason area, we have Badlands over there, we have a little bit of Badlands over there. I don't know, this area feels more correct for where the Terracotta is going to be. Maybe what we do is we just have like a small, well, a quote unquote smaller area of kind of uh, converting clay into terracotta or dirt into t clay into terracotta whatever that process is going to look like maybe we'll have a smaller area over maybe on in that area so it'll look like we're kind of using the what water is there in the river and turning it into terracotta and then we have a larger one over in the Dwarven Kingdom, or maybe somewhere else. We'll see. But yeah, this is some ideas that I have in mind for this area. All right, we are going to do the roads throughout this area here, as you guys have probably been uh, waiting for me to do all episode, because it's the title of the episode most likely yeah yeah so the plan is to do the road that kind of meanders through the empire that's outside of the walls and i will probably end up doing the road over to the mason area as well um i would like to do some sort of the road inside of the the walls as well this road here is going to be a little bit different than the pattern that we're going to do on the outside of the wall. But, uh, yeah. Well, um, I think it's time we actually build something this episode. So, I think it's time lapse time.
road network is done out here. I think it turned out fairly well. I uh, decided not to do any of the roads in here, mostly because I want to figure out the, the great hall and the kitchens and the watchtower, not the... Not the defense tower, like I was calling it. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just wasn't thinking when I, uh, when I recorded that. Oh well. But yeah, I want, I want the actual great hall to be kind of figured out and designed more than what it, what it is right now. Which also means that I probably won't be next episode. I think what I would like to do next episode is some. Um, terraforming around the base of these three towers around here and also to um i want to move the, the villagers because i've hated how this looks ever since i built it yep does that ever happen to you guys where you you think something's going to be a good idea and you go through and you you finish it and then you look at it afterwards and you go that's awful i want to tear it down i don't like it please get rid of it and then you just don't for a couple months. Yep. That's that's that that that's what's happened to me. Yep. So I think what I want to do next episode is you know the, the terraforming stuff and dealing with the, the villagers. I will probably also build a cactus farm of some sort. It'll probably be in a tower over here somewhere, maybe up here. We'll see. And I'm, well, I need to get rid of this tree farming area entirely because, uh, yeah, we now have a pretty sweet, pretty awesome, fully automatic tree farm over in the Dwarven, M Dwarven Kingdom. We're in the Desert Empire. I did it again. So uh, I can get rid of all of my temporary farms here. Yep. I think I might end up putting in some sort of small-ish pumpkin and melon farm over here, maybe? I would like the area that's kind of on the right-hand side of the road here to be a lot of, like, the farming area. So, like, pumpkin and melon farm in here somewhere. Um, and then, you know, we're going to do a cactus farm over there. Then if we do any other, like, if we do, like, a beetroot farm for some reason, it, uh, I, yeah. why is beetroot in the game? It's so bad. We might, we'll probably put it over here with the rest of the farming stuff, and just to try to keep all of that, the like stuff together. Um, so yeah, that is probably going to be it for next episode. This is a bit of a shorter episode, but as the as the sun is setting, so too is the time on this episode. So, I think I'm going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.